Hasbro just continues to cook. It's only been a few days since my last Hasbro Beyblade news video, but in that time, we've gotten more pictures of some exclusive bays, some double packs, and a new Beyblade X stadium. So hit that like button, hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation, and now let's talk about the first bit of news, which is going to be the new Bucket Stadium. So here it is, right there. Hold your applause. Remember, this is not the official kind of standard type stadium for this series. That one is going to be in the Extreme Battle set with Tusk Mammoth and Dagger Dran. That stadium in that set is going to be much more similar to the official Takara Tomy one from the Dome to the Extreme Line, etc. This one is kind of the Bucket Stadium, okay? For every single year that we had Beyblade Burst, we had a set stadium that was typically decent-ish. And then we had the cheaper stadiums that are a lot easier and more accessible to get. But those are going to be a little bit worse quality. They're not going to have the gimmick fully down as well as the official stadium in the set. And this is the bucket. The first thing of note is the fact that it's green. Interesting color. Second thing is definitely going to be the fact that it actually does have the extreme line. It seems a little bit different, obviously. It's not an extra plastic piece that connects to the stadium, like on Takara Tomy and like the other Hasbro X Stadium. It seems to be molded into the actual plastic, which means if that piece were to break, there really is no replacing it. You just buy a new stadium. But they don't currently make extreme lines for the other stadiums anyways, so if you break one of those, you're also gonna need a new stadium. All of the Hasbro stuff I'm talking about today is going to be released this summer, but if you want some Beyblade X-Bays now, go and check out Mall of Toys. They have all the new UX stuff like Dran Buster, Hell's Hammer, and Wizard Rod up for sale right now. And if you wanna fill out your Beyblade X collection, they have a bunch of other X stuff as well. So go and check out Mall of Toys, link in the description down below, and make sure you use code Illinook to get 5% off of your first purchase. But anyways, it's green. It has the extreme line gimmick, sort of, but there are definitely some differences. The first one being the size. I can't really tell from the pictures, but it seems like the dish space in the middle is gonna be a little bit smaller than the Hasbro other stadium, and definitely smaller than the Takara Tomy one but it also doesn't have a shroud. It doesn't have a way to cover the stadium in case the bays fly upwards, which is fine, sort of, for Beyblade Burst, but for Beyblade X, where it's all metal, you'd think that there'd be a little bit more protection. Some of you may be thinking that, you know, for Metal Fusion, those bays were metal, but the stadiums didn't have a cover. But there's also the fact that those stadiums were pretty large, and those were also Metal Fusion bays, which were pretty round, you had some crazy hits here and there, but it's nothing like Beyblade X, where in my most recent Beyblade X unboxing, you literally saw Hell's Hammer pop out of the stadium for a second. And if that were to happen here, there is no shroud covering that. It just goes straight up. And hopefully somebody's not leaning their face into the state. Why, why would you do that anyways? If, if you do that, you may have some other problems to worry about. It does still have the same pockets, sort of, as the other stadium, but the Extreme Zone pocket is the same size and basically the exact same in general as the overfinished pockets, but I assume it's still just gonna have the same rules where it counts as more, but either way, all the features are still there. And one more small little thing to mention about this stadium is the very end of the extreme line where it reroutes the bay. Uh, that's going to be smooth plastic at the very, very end when on the Hasbro Stadium, the other one, and the Takara Tomy Stadium, there are still teeth or gears there. I don't think this is going to be a really big deal, but it is going to affect the power just a little bit especially at the very end of the Extreme Dash. I assume they did that to not only save money, potentially, but more likely to make the bays not as aggressive and create some sort of safety problem. But that is the Beyblade X Bay Stadium, or at least the kind of cheaper, easier to get, more accessible one. It still has all the same gimmicks and features as the regular stadium, but it's gonna be a little bit cheaper, obviously. The extreme line's a little bit different and the shape of the pockets is different as well. Obviously, I am of course going to recommend the other Hasbro set stadium and even the Takara Tomy one, if you can get your hands on that. But if this is the only stadium you can get, I don't really think it's that bad. 
we have all definitely seen Hasbro do worse. That's that's for sure. So now let's move on to the actual bays that we got information about. I do want to go over some of the stuff I've already mentioned in past videos. One of them being Talentera. This is a Hasbro exclusive bay, if you did not know that. I, I like this one. I like the color scheme, and I do like the kind of pterodactyl motif design in the middle. Uh, we got better pictures of the box and also the back of the box, and we know the parts. I will say, I mean, it's a cool looking bay, but it is definitely modeled very similarly to Viper Tail. And that's not the last time I'll mention bays looking very similar to Takara Tomy releases. We'll, we'll get more onto that in a second. And the last sort of recap news we're going to do is going over the Keel Shark and Knife Shinobi double pack. We already knew pretty much everything about that, but we have better pictures of the bays, especially of Knife Shinobi. And it is, it is, it, it's all right. It's probably my least favorite Hasbro exclusive that I've seen. It's just very similar to Rhino Horn, as I mentioned in my last video. Although the shape is a little bit more round, I'd say. So I assume maybe it'll be a little bit better, but it's on the smaller side, that's for sure. And the Shinobi design in the middle is just a little bit more bland, I think, than some of the other motifs, but that's just my personal preference. But out with the old and in with the new. Let's go ahead and talk about the new pictures and the new information that we got. The first one is going to be a double pack that has Viper Tail and Dran Sword. And this one I think is great. Just look at the two bays that are included with Viper Tail and Dran Sword and look at how those bays were released for Takara Tomy. Viper Tail was released in a random select, so there was really only three bays you could get but it was still technically a random booster prize, sort of. So getting it in a double pack where it's easy to get is nice. And for the Dran Sword, that one comes in a red color scheme, which was only available in the BX-17 entry set, which you can buy the base separately if you want to, but the cost of that is going to be kind of extreme. And if you want the entire set, that's going to be rather expensive. So to get two of these, kind of prize or rarer bays in one double pack is a great move. And fun fact, I actually never got that BX-17 entry set because A, it was kind of expensive, B, I didn't really think the bays were worth it for the cost, and C, I already have several Beyblade X stadiums and I really didn't need another one. So I'm going to be able to get this bay for technically the first time. And now let's move on to the last double pack, which is going to be Wizard Arrow and more importantly, Chain Incendio. And once again, I do have to mention the value aspect of this double pack because Hell's Chain released in its own deck set that has three bays and that's not the most expensive thing to order. It's definitely cheaper than the entry set I talked about earlier. But if you really wanted just Hell's Chain, you had to just buy it separately, secondhand, or buy an entire set that comes with bays you may not care about. And it's gonna be more expensive than just this double pack. The other bay in this double pack, I really don't care that much about. It's just a wizard arrow in a green color that originally released in that initial three on three set at the very beginning of Beyblade X, but it's it's wizard arrow. I, I don't really care. And the last thing to talk about is that we finally got pictures for an upcoming Hasbro exclusive, the one that I've been most waiting for, and that one is Steel Samurai. And I think it looks cool, but I, I have my complaints. First of all, let's just talk about it, okay? It's in this kind of lighter red and blue color scheme. I think that the samurai motif in the middle is a little bit basic, kind of like Shinobi, but I think samurais are cool, so I'm still a fan. And I also do like the shape of the blade itself. It looks like a bunch of samurai swords. It has a bit of a sharper edge to it, and I think that it looks pretty nice. Another pretty cool thing is that this is a booster release, meaning it's only going to cost about $7.99 USD. It's going to be one of the cheapest bays that you can get, and it has an interesting design. It's a Hasbro exclusive. It's a lot of positives. But it once again continues the trend of just basically being a remodel of an existing Takara Tomy bay, like we saw with Talon and like we saw with Tusk Mammoth. We now see that again with Steel Samurai, and it's pretty much a remodel of Leon Claw. A lot of you guys might not see it, they do look pretty distinct, but the main way that you could tell is if you look at the plastic piece on the inside of the blade, you can see that there's just some edges and whatnot that line up. 
They definitely reuse that same inner plastic piece, and because they reuse that piece, they can't really be super unique with the metal part of the blade. It has to be pretty similar to Leon Claw, and it is. I definitely hope it's a bit of a better performer than Leon Claw. Some people might be upset with this take, but Leon Claw is one of the worst performers in all of Beyblade X. So I'm hoping Steel Samurai is better, although it's probably just going to be more of the same. The parts on it are also kind of mid as well. We have 480 for the ratchet, although it is in a nice kind of light blue and pinkish red combo like the blade. I think that's fine. And then we have taper as the bits. It's, it's fine, I guess. Part of me was kind of hoping that at one point we would get a Hasbro exclusive ratchet and bits, but that probably wouldn't work. But that is going to wrap up the news. Overall, what did you think? I'm mostly pretty hyped about all this stuff still. It's just kind of more Hasbro W's, I think. I know the stadium is definitely going to be a bit on the controversial side, but it still is similar to the Takar Tomy or the other Hasbro one. It still has the extreme line gimmick. It's just probably smaller and definitely cheaper. And the bays look pretty nice as well. I really have no complaints at all, other than the Hasbro exclusives being similar to Takara Tomy bays, but whatever. But that is going to wrap up this video, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button down below and hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation. I will see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.